Ed Excel, GCSE Biology, Syllabus Statement 2.3. Here we're describing the functions of the parts of a cell. So previously we suggested that the structure of a typical animal cell would have the cell membrane and the nucleus and cytoplasm. The functions of these structures are the, cyt the cell membrane controls what enters and leaves the cell. So it has control over that part of the cell. The nucleus controls the function of the cell, what the cell does. And the cytoplasm is where the chemical reactions which occur in cells, that's where they take place. So the nucleus controls the function, the cell membrane controls what enters and leaves the cell, and the cytoplasm is the place where chemical changes typical of life occur, such as respiration. Plants have additional features. We have the cell membrane, the nucleus, and the cytoplasm, but in addition we have the vacuole, let's put a V there, we have chloroplasts, and we have the cell membrane, the cell wall rather, which is going around the outside. So if we deal with the functions of these additional structures, the function of the chloroplast is that this is where photosynthesis occurs. The vacuole is used to store molecules such as amino acids and sugars. It's a storage area. And the function of the cell wall is to provide the cell with support and protection. These are the basic functions of the parts of the cell.